Hey guys, it's Coach Laird. Uh, I got hitting tip of the day today. I'm on my way home from lessons, sweating a little bit. I did some sprints afterward. Got to get after it myself if I'm telling my players to get after it, right? So um, hitting tip of the day. Uh, your tip of the day today is understanding how to adjust to curveballs. And specifically, I'm talking about the the timing and the sequencing of your, your separation, your, your, your actual foot coming forward on your stride and the hands coming back. I'll tell you a little story uh, with this tip today. When I was younger, when I was in high school, this was early high school, I cannot remember exactly when it kind of changed. Car, the phone's moving on me a little bit, see if I can straighten around a little bit. Um, I used to think when I'd hear people say, hey, you gotta see the curveball out of the hand, see the curveball out of the hand. Well, I didn't see shit out of the hand. And I never did in my career. What I started recognizing was spin later in my career and understanding and seeing the hump and seeing certain things. I'll get into that another day. But I always thought that since I had to see it out of the hand early in my career, right, I should have had a perfect timing for it. And there was my huge mistake. <laughs> Excuse me. So my mistake was as I was trying to hit curveballs, I would have this slight pause and hesitation and I would start drifting forward. I had no idea how to adjust. And I was like, damn, I keep missing the curveball. I keep messing up. I should see that out of the hand. I should see the spin. And when it dawned upon me when I got to college is it's not seeing it necessarily the hand. And, and some guys can see it out of the hand. If they can, great for them. Every person I've ever talked to says they saw spin. And that's what they really saw out of the hand. So this goes to how important it is as a coach to understand how to communicate with your players. So I have a specific routine that I teach guys how to hit curveballs away, uh, change-ups away, any kind of off-speed pitch. We categorize all off-speed pitches away um, and how to hit those, you know, front and front shoulder on. I talk about it in my book, How to Build a Ball Player Like Crazy, um, and it, how it dawned upon me in college and these little things I picked up, just little small little things that helped me hit that curveball, hit that slider away, and really changed my career in college the last couple of years. Um, so... What I'm gathering is a lot of coaches are will say stuff like stay back and things. And, and I'll do another video about what stay back means. But you've got to elaborate what you mean about recognizing curveballs and how to hit them. I literally went my entire high school career being all-state player, blah, 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 all that stuff. And not understanding that there was supposed to be a hesitation between the stride and the swing a little bit on that curveball. There's a slight pause, if you will. Um, it's it's small, um, you know, barely noticeable, but it's noticeable you're sitting fastball, sitting fastball, sitting fastball, and then boom, curveball. You see that curveball, you see the hump, you see the spin, whatever it is that you recognize, right? Rather, the ball's it's got a hump halfway through is what I mean by that, or, or the spin, you're seeing it coming out of the hand. Then from there, that what I mean by the pause is you're sitting there sitting fastball, you're just fastball, and all of a sudden, boom, it's curveball. Your subconscious, you know, is gonna kick in and go, okay, how do I hit this? And so that pause is normal. You need to work on keeping the upper half back, keeping the hands back and up, keep that barrel at that 45 as long as you can. You immediately got to think opposite field. Right field line is a righty, left field line is a lefty. Um, it helps you keep that front shoulder on the ball. Does it mean you're going to hit the ball down that line? No. What it means is, is you're trying to have that mindset click in as soon as you recognize that curveball. Allow that hesitation, that slight pause, where your brain actually figures out what's, what's coming and how do you adjust and then you keep your hands back because the bottom line is most guys will practice hitting curveballs or practice hitting soft stuff um, knowing that it's coming. You've got to practice in a chaotic environment. You got to use the stimulus has got to be chaotic, meaning it could be a fastball, curveball, change up, whatever it is the coach is working with you on, whether it's screen toss, soft toss, you know, changing the tempo somewhat. It doesn't have to be exact spin, but the player's got to understand how to adjust to that uh, change of speed, um, change of tempo. And so that slight hesitation is normal. So as players that are listening to this, I hope you guys understand this. Nowadays, you know, there's so much information out there, people get that. But when you get that slight hesitation, know exactly what you're trying to do. It can't, you cannot swing at a curveball or a good slider the same way you swing at a fastball. You gotta understand what the pitcher is trying to give to you. You gotta understand the counts, you gotta understand the situation. Now, early in the count, like oh oh count, I tell guys, hey, you see that first boost curveball spin on it, unless we're looking at it, looking for it, but that's more in depth and, and high end, high caliber elite hitters that we talk about that stuff. But you've got to understand that slight hesitation when you're sitting fastball and boom, you see curveball. If you got two strikes or you're oh one and you're you're working on hitting that ball, it's in the zone, that's normal. 
That is 100% normal. Don't think about that you're supposed to see that ball out of the out of the hand immediately. Start recognizing the spin, sit inside bullpens, start tracking pitches so you can pick up those curveballs sooner. Uh, I lived in a cold weather state. We didn't do that enough. And I always advise high school baseball coaches and players like, hey, stand inside bullpens long as chance you can recognize that. Learn to get comfortable with that slight hesitation, that slight pause a little bit. Your hips are gonna drift forward. Just keep the torso back, hands back, boom. You drive that off-speed pitch to the opposite side of the field, do damage. Laird's trading, hitting tip of the day, out.